how to fix the scratch disk full error in Photoshop on both Windows and Mac. Let's get into it. Starting off in Mac, we need to come up to edit and then come down to purge and then choose all. If yours is greyed out like mine, that means it's already been purged and cleared. Option number two on Mac is by coming up to Photoshop, going into settings and then choosing scratch disks. Within this window, you have the opportunity to use an external hard drive as your scratch disk. Any hard drives you have plugged in should appear here. Option number three on Mac is by clicking Finder, then going up to Go, and then holding Option on your keyboard. This will bring up the hidden library folder. As we can see there, it's appeared, disappeared, and appeared again. Click into this, and then what we want to look for is application support. Click into that folder, then we want to click Adobe, Common, and then we want to select the Media Cache and the Media Cache Files folder and move them to our bin. Once that's done, we then need to empty the bin and then click Empty Bin again. The fourth option on Mac is by going up to Go again and then choosing Go To Folder. We then need to type forward slash TMP into the bar and then hit Enter. We can then select all the files in this folder and then move them to our bin. We might need to put in our password to our computer, just pop that in and then choose OK. We then need to make sure we empty our bin again. The fifth option on Mac is by opening up Terminal. Once this is open, type sudo space purge and hit enter. You'll then be prompted to put in your computer password. Once this is done, hit enter. This is going to clean up the RAM on your computer. You can then close out of this window. The final option for Mac is clicking the Apple logo and going to system settings. Once in here, we want to come down to general and then storage. Within here, we'll be able to see the storage that remains on our computer. If you're struggling for space, you can go through each of these options and clear space from your computer. Those are all of our Mac options covered. Hopefully this can help you get rid of that error. Next, moving on to Windows. What we wanna do is come down to search and search for storage settings. Open this up and you'll be able to see the storage for your computer. We want to select temporary files, let it load, and then we want to click remove files. Once this is done, we can close out of this window. Another option we can try is by searching for run. If you type percent temp percent and click OK, this is going to bring up the temporary files for your computer. If you press Ctrl A on your keyboard, right click and then click delete. This is going to delete all the files on your computer. You might run into a couple of errors. If there's a couple of things that won't delete, you can just click cancel. And that's all there is to it. 